Hi, my name is Ashley Manola, and for my Calm 103 dis demonstrative speech, I'm going to teach you how to make flies for trout fishing. First, we're going to start off with a hook, and we're going to put it in our vise right here, connected to the table. Just put it in, clamp it down. I'm going to make sure it's tight so it doesn't loosen up while you're just pulling your string. We're going to unravel some string and take some and we're going to start at the top or the eye of the hook and wrap it once and keep wrapping towards the other end of the hook. Okay, let some out. And we're going to cut off the excess. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to cut a tail from this feather, which you can use anything, like we have deer skin or pheasant, peacock, whatever you're kind of fish you're trying to catch. So we're just going to take a chunk of this feather. Take this and put it at the end where the hook is. Wrap it around and go back up towards the eye of the hook. And go back down. Okay. Now we have our tail of our hook. Now we're going to take some wool and we're going to put it on our string. This is going to uh, thicken it up and also uh, help the hook float. So you're going to take it and just wrap it around the string like this. You don't need a lot because you can pull it and make it stretch out. So it's not like that, it's kind of like a worm. And wrap it around. Towards the eye and then back down. And now we want to end up at the eye of the hook. So we're now we're going to put feather on. This is called a haggle, hackle, and it's supposed to represent the legs of an insect. So you're going to put it on, and then tie the end of it a couple times. Now we're going to go towards the end of the hook, the string. Okay. Now we're going to take a hackle clip, grab the end of the feather, pull it back, and then you kind of want to tie it around the hook. You can see it kind of like frays out. That should just be the legs. Okay, so when you get towards the end of the hook, you want to take your string and wrap it around a few times to tie it down. And you can unclip your hook and cut off this excess feather. Wrap it a few times. Now we're going to put some glue on to hold the string in place. And then wrap a few. 
few more times. Let it hang there a second. Do it all in place. You can cut the string. And unclip it. And here's your hook. And that's it.